Well, volunteers at the Samaritan Center are hard at work. Well, Michelle Heron shows us how they're making a difference. It's Tuesday morning and the Samaritan Center in Ottawa is buzzing with shoppers, employees and volunteers like Carl Carnes. The 95 year old is the first person you see when you walk into the thrift store. The retired medical researcher gives blood pressure checks and encourages people to drink water. But his favorite part is giving every child one dollar to use in the toy store. I owe the community much. And with the, all the privileges I've had, way more than I deserved, I really owe the society a lot. So it's, a, it's really a privilege to do this. The ministry helps to meet the basic physical, spiritual, and social needs of people in our area. Ken DuPont started here under a return to work program while recovering from an injury. The former truck driver enjoyed the atmosphere so much he continued to volunteer and is now turned into an employee. Coming down here and having the fellowship and the camaraderie and all the rest of that, it just improves my life while I try to help improve the mission. 240 people volunteered at the Samaritan Center, donating 17,000 hours to help keep the center going last year alone. A true testament, Executive Director Aaron Westberg says, to their mission. They are the example of serving others because there's at least a hundred different things you could do at any given moment, but they choose to come spend some time with us so that we can serve those who need help in our community. As Nuvia Lawson packs grocery bags of food from the center's food pantry, she thinks about the person she's helping, a reminder of the struggles we don't see among those around us. I feel like it makes me more compassionate because like every person is important and everybody has their challenges. So it really opens my eyes a little bit more to that and have more patience and compassion towards others. We have more information on how you can volunteer with the Samaritan Center inside our app. With this week's Making a Difference, I'm Michelle Heron.